Hi guys, uh, episode 14, this is most likely going to be the last episode because I have literally nothing else better to do. I've spent a good, I've gone all over to kinds of places looking for like a grinding spot for rare titanium. Turns out it's right here. I know right? Doesn't look like it. All you have to really do is use... As you can see, I've upgraded every single weapon because reasons. Why not? This is if I'm going to use all of them. Like, I even upgrade this, and I'm going to upgrade this all the way for fun. Done. And... Done. I don't think there's a trophy for it. There might be. There might not be. Who cares? In case I ever get to use them, I highly doubt it. But every single weapon's upgraded. And in my process of grinding, I accidentally leveled... What was it? The incinerator up to level 5. Accidentally. Because I was using it so bloody much. But anyway. So how do you get all the rare titanium? Easy. Right this little small area. All you gotta do is go over here. And just keep shooting these guys specifically. Because they drop about... Oh, I don't know. Anywhere between... 2 to 300 a piece. That was 300 right then and there. And this little thing up here spawns more. I think like 8 more or whatever. You just keep shooting them. Take literally no effort. And really all that all the rare titanium thing does on the weapon is increase the chance of it dropping. I think the enemy itself has to be dictates how much you're gonna get. And so having a lot of small enemies increase the chances, sure. But this is right there, and look at that. I just got like maybe 1200. And then you just jump off the edge. You die. And you're back over here again and you do it all over again over and over and over again and I got all, all right, the things upgraded what can we do you for? okay so I made a point on the last episode that this mission exact this exact mission the whole save Meridian City bit it was useless like I don't even know the purpose of the planet to begin with that was the whole purpose of me calling it why does this level exist because you learned nothing. Clank already knew that the bad guy was in Festoon. He, we knew that when he first met him, when we met up again, when that when Ratchet thought he died. So why do we come here? Why bother coming to this particular city? To we didn't save it because it's constantly being under siege. And then we met Cork, and he does this stupid little thing that Cork does. And then we had to go to Festoon. We could have gone to Festoon from the um. Crag my home planet, but we just chose to come here instead for some reason. And I'm going to assume because the Kragmites were introduced in that planet and we got a very small glimpse, 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 grimace, glimpse of seeing them. We had to play a whole planet, a very short planet, I'm like 15 minutes, really, really short, of just me going through the whole planet fighting Kragmites again. Just, just to see how they are and yada, yada. So when we do the final mission, it's not just like a giant surprise. But it's so dumb. Like, the last few planets that I fought were like 15 minutes. And that's like, that's coming from a game in the PS3 era where the PS2 games, each planet took me 30 minutes to go through. All the different routes and whatever. That's not to say to get all the, um, the golden bolts or whatever, but the pathways shouldn't lead to a golden bolt. That should be like an op optional, completely optional thing. Where each of the pathways lead to either like a story objective or an extra gadget or whatever. But all those hidden pathways on all the other planets, all they left to was just a golden bolt. whoop de whoop doo So, this is the longest of the PS3 games. There's this one, there's Quest of Booty that's really, really short. Then there's Crack in Time, which is a little longer than a Quest for Booty. And then there's Into the Nexus, which is a little also longer than a Quest for Booty, but shorter than a Crack in Time. So I'm assuming Crack of Time is going to be like the Pinnock, the, the quintessential Ratchet and Clank. This is like, hey, we're going to try out um, new Ratchet and Clank with new graphics, new animations. Everything's new, but the gladiators don't work as well. They're actually pretty abysmal. The story is non-existent. It's just sort of all up in the air. If you're coming, if this is like your first Ratchet and Clank game, you think it'd be actually a pretty alright game. If you're a returning Ratchet and Clank fan, this would piss you off. This whole game would piss you off. Like, I'm, in a, I'm in like a long time Ratchet Clank, this is the first time i played this game. I'm a little annoyed, gotta admit. 
then again, this is how I am with I play any new game. I play it for like 20 hours or whatever, whatever the amount of hours I play with it. And then I start analyzing the aspects of the game and realizing all the faults and flaws and yada yada. And next thing you know, I hit the game because of all these flaws. And that's just this game in a nutshell. As opposed to like, you know, the first three where I didn't do that. If you jettison the excess cargo, you could increase your speed. Uh, no, no, that won't be necessary. Oh. Oh. Thanks, ship. Hey, look at that, it's Krunk and Zephyr. Watch out! We got incoming what? incinerator missiles! No, because this is one of those free fall first just for free! Oh, she's fine. We'll lay down cover fire while you take out those cannons. Miss Tolowan, do you read me? I read you, Zephyr. I spot five magna cannons from up here. You take them out. I'll find Tachyon. Alright, let's see if we could do this last thing we did last time, where we complete the entire last mission without dying relatively quickly. Um, Do I need anything? Like, the incinerator is actually pretty good. And I think I'd prefer to have that over this. The other new gun that's moderately okay is probably the magnet launcher. I feel like I should've done this before I landed, but I care. Who cares, who cares, who cares, who cares, who cares, who cares, who cares? Uh, I think that's good, I guess. I mean, the Roger Claws were cool because they charge up like, apparently they get stronger the more you use them you don't get hit. Which, but since it's a, like a melee weapon, does it really matter as much? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Oh my god, I almost died. What the heck hit me? Oh, that thing almost hit me. I'm going to die relatively quickly here. Alright, that one died. Damn it! Well, that was me just being an idiot. Well, it's almost for my giant streak of doing the last mission without dying. Magda Launcher, I'm thinking I'm gonna need you to do a little bit more than what you're currently doing. Alright, we're done. Oh, I can't switch out, can I? Um. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. Sorry, guys. I can't, like, swap out weapon. Can you guys just, like, wait? Like, five seconds? What out? Look at the Somniac. Reusing old levels like it means absolutely nothing. Like I'm not gonna make a whole new level specifically for the ending. That's kind of disappointing. This gun is so useless. It's good basically for a laugh. It's like, ha 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 ha, I hit you, but nothing happened. It's gonna graze you a little bit. The incinerator! Burn! Oh, you're still alive? Okay. Did I get all the ones over here? I think I missed a few. Huh? Oh, go up here then? Oh my guess I'm gonna have to go up here. Oh, that's cool. Just jump down. Oh, 
Oh, it's one. Hold on. Nice job, Ratchet. I saw that one explode from up here. Yay! Tom in Twilight's approval. Like, where really even need to hit it from here? Like, go down there and hit it? Where's the last one? That's where the ship is. Is it? I'm too old for this. Beep. What are you guys shooting up? Oh. There we go. Is it over here? It is over here. Okay. Yay! Twilight! Oh, cutscene! Ratchet, I just saw Tachyon's forces escorting his warship into the city. He must be getting ready to open all portals. Incoming dropship! Ah, we're fine. Oh, that's where my ship is. Hey, ship, thanks for ditching me! No? Oh, the chances of me actually playing this game after I complete it is actually really low. I'm probably just going to play the next one because, well, I'm more excited about the story than I am about the gameplay. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to plow through the second one really, 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 really quickly. Blow this up. Yeah, you can blow it up. I haven't done it yet. Oh, these guys. Go away. God dang you guys. Can you like, like, survive for like 30 more seconds? Anybody. What a useless gun. It gets them like weak enough to where other guns can kill them, but never gonna level up that gun enough. And this is by far my favorite gun. Alright, let's go to I. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, we're doing this. Oh. That almost hit me. Kill the abs, kill the abs, kill the abs, kill the abs. Always kill the abs. Hey, he's not teleporting. I wonder why. Fine, I'm not gonna teleport. Here we go, Twy. Get the way. some extra guys to play with. Hold on. Hold on. The flamethrower! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. Ah! 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 I'll leave from the beginning. Uh, I probably should be screwing around as much as I should be. I have two over 200 health and these guys are still shoot two-shotting me. You guys done yet? I should probably use a better gun, shouldn't I? Like a sh not the shotgun. Oh, oh this thing. This thing looks pretty good. Even though it's like a single fire, single shot, only attacks one person almost at a time. Nope, I'm working for that. Okay. 
see, can't see, can't see. Give me all that raritanium. A nice, useless raritanium. Oh, can't do that. Look at all that lovely veritane. We're just gonna go up to 9,999 for fun. Oh. oh. What's up? Oh. We're out. Okay. I should use this stupid gun. Sorry, Twilight, you're in the way. There, I'm just not as weak as you other two. They're probably invulnerable. Oh, it's almost done. Ah, it's done. Uh, don't use... Good opportunity to use. I leveled up. Cool. Go away. Well, in my day, we didn't have gunships. We had to pull our feet to the wings and throw rocks. Bada 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 bada. This might actually be a full episode. Across the bridge. Cover me while I hack the terminal. Yeah, okay. Shielded enemies used to be the bane of my existence. Now they're just not. Oh, don't worry, Twy. We're, we're, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Oh, an ammo shop. Thank you. Um, you're like not. Do I even need to hold back? I mean, like, there's an ammo box, like, right down there. Ammo, not ammo. Ooh. Come on, Justin, don't slide flip to your doom like last time. that we're killing all by ourselves without any help of the... what? The other Lombaxes that took them out? I mean, they were so dangerous that... the Lombaxes had to create a dimension nature just to kill them all or transport them somewhere else. And then here we are killing like hundreds of them without really caring about it. It's kind of weird. 
Oh wait, I wonder. Wow, that works like really, really well. Like really, really well. Cutscene. Hey, look at that new ship. The Lombax has raised you. How could you do this to them? What did you do to them? Take the grab ramp. You find out where that door leads. So, just to clarify, he was trying to build an army large enough to destroy this entire planet, but wasn't like the first two games. The whole purpose of that was just to kill. Ah, uh, I'm really distracted. Cool. Oh. Oh. It doesn't insta kill him. That's good to know. It insta kills everything else but this guy. Can it destroy this? So, like, the first, like, three games had, like, people who could destroy planets with, a, with an entire thing. A giant machine, but yet this game. Oh no, I need an entire giant army just to kill it. Wow. That's pretty tough. Really? That's number three. There we go. Uh, okay, so not like insta killers. Ooh. This looks interesting. Hey, look at that. It's Croc and Zephyr. Hey, look at that armor guy. What's up? I'm totally not gonna buy your armor. But uh, thanks for the option. Let's just go. Go anywhere? Nope. This does something. Albeit nothing good. What's up, devices guy? Look at all these devices that I have that I haven't used once. At all. For any reason. Hold on. Nope. I'm going to protest against your devices and just not use them. Against the smaller disappearing ones, it works wonders. But against the bigger ones, it doesn't work as well. Okay. Good to know. Is that the beatbox? of things I do not need.
Give me all them bolts. Alright, time to be bucked.